and circling around up in front of the building, which is sending too much of it that way. We can fix all of that. And then of course, got all of this mess coming from everywhere. Coming across. Going right across them because they put a bunch of, got a bunch of gravel right here into the door. Was it not for that little lip? There'd be water going in the middle. We diverted some of it this way. <laughs> and some of it we didn't. right in front of the door and I wanted it all to go that way but right now some of it's scooting across here we can fix all of that coming out of the field coming out of the field is working like we wanted just this little bit up here we're not done up here Here's where 90% of the water comes and comes and goes. Yo! Well, it's all working. Well, we come over here just to look and see how the rain did. We got an inch and a quarter. Come up, come up a good little bit. That's okay. That's what we want it to do. We want it to fill up now. I just hope it stays in there when it comes in. But we got to cut. We got to cut our ditch in the middle. I'm waiting on the T to come in. I left here last week after they they came over last week and I guess they took all the honey. I don't know what they did. But boy, they whizzed them freaking bees off bad. I went up there to my truck, which was parked right over there where it's sitting now, pretty close. Ah, dang, they was madder than hell. <laughs> you know, to each his own. Go for it, buddy. But I got a better way to make a living. I moved some dirt. I ain't fooling them freaking bees. Uh, uh, uh. He put his helmet on, though. He must have got a little hot. There's our tea we're going to do for a drainage. Well, it almost hurt to do that. Cut that big slice in the dam. We hope to hope to get it back. But this is the drain. Here's a here's my hole. I'm gonna pour concrete around the pipe for trickle tube. Trickle stop. And then over here. We got my big T that I'm gonna set and pour some concrete around it. There's 
the T, I'm going to use a 15. Stand it up, 12 inch out. There's my idea on the T. I've got it dug too deep down there, but I'm going to concrete around it. And then that will be my stand pipe, which is 15 inches, and the drain is 12. And that should, should let it drain 12 inches of water. hard to walk around here I'm on this bank with a compactor now I can't even walk on it of course I got a leg problem I got it dug way too deep I don't know what we miscalculated or something Well, we put concrete, of course it wanted to float the pipe up naturally, which it does. It wasn't but about five, six feet in between there, but then we got a little bit of concrete here on the end, trying to hold it all, staple it. It rained us up yesterday, but we're ready to start compacting. Here's the overflow. I didn't do too much. I didn't do any filming, matter of fact, when we were putting this back together. I think it's steep in there, but there's my overflow going down, going across. Oh. We got it coming out down here. Just picked up a bunch of rock coming out of this out of the pond. I don't I hope it sees water. Right over there where the mud was and it dried up enough I was able to get on with a doser and cleaned it all off. They want to mow it. I cleaned it off so we can mow it. So that's there's the dam, back side of the dam. They can mow it. Here's where the brush pile was. Here's the overflow outlet. Back side of the dam. Ready to seed. Got it cut. Ready to Put her gravel on it. There's a spillway. just about officially finished with draining of the swamp. There's the spillway. He wanted a road across here. So I would have normally just left a big ditch, but he wanted a road across that. So I put a couple of pipe in. I don't think it'll ever see water. And then we put, we put the overflow out there. We got it ready. We're going 525 feet across this dam. Two hundred ton of rock. We'll start on it first thing in the morning. Well, we're getting the roller over here. We're getting ready to put gravel on this bad boy tomorrow. We'll be done. We got our overflow and we got a spillway in. There's a spillway right there. Gravel coming in the morning, 200 ton. We're just about done with this bad boy. 
We got to smooth this gravel out, get it where we want it, flatten it, roll it, and we've got it finished graded. The whole other side's finished graded. The back side's finished graded. They're gonna seed it. We're about ready to roll out of here. Well, we're rolling it. One roller's got hot on us. It does that after you roll for a while. It's all hydraulic driven. We're done. We're gonna roll gravel a couple hours. We are officially done. And I am tickled to death with what it looks like. And they are too. They think it's really gonna change the looks of the farm. After we got through with everything, before they seated it, I flew the drone, got a few uh, videos of what it looked like when we're basically done or we are done except for the seed. When I gave this video to the girl in the office just for so she could see what the whole thing looked like. I told her, I said, you need to name this Arrowhead Lake. And she said, why? I said, well, you'll see. Of course, it was just a joke, and it'll disappear, but I just thought it was kind of neat. Never noticed that till I got up above it uh, in the drone. Well, there's that road I was talking about, 525 feet all the way across it. So. But that's it. We're finished. Waiting for the, come in and seat it now. Uh, there's a shot that you don't really think about too much till you get down behind this thing, but that's that dam from the back view. That's a lot of dirt. That's a lot of dirt in that in that lake dam.
I've said many times on this job is we're getting there. We're getting there on we got water coming in. It's coming up. A bit of rain we're getting. We gotta feed it. Grass is grass and oats growing, coming up, holding the ground good. Video here. I begged and pleaded with him, please put the, the straw mat on this, especially on the back side of this dam. But here was just a perfect indication. Look at the difference. The yeah, others. Right there where there isn't any straw and isn't any mat, there's basically no, hardly any grass seed at all. A little bit here that's washed around. And, you know, that's what happens. That's what the straw mat does. Over here on this side, it's not quite as steep, so I mean, it held. The, the basic, he just blew straw on this. But this right here, you can see where that straw mat starts. Down below it, there's no straw mat. But right there, look at look what the straw mat does. Uh, that's amazing. That's good stuff. Then we come over here to this side, and there's the straw mat that I was. This is the side I said, man, you need. You know, that's a big, long area. Water gets started running down that. It makes a mess. But guess what? It's good shape now. There's a ditch right over there. Come off of this corner. Well, you know, you can deal with one little ditch. But this thing could have finger ditches every two feet all the way across here. Then you got a problem. But they're in good shape. And I'm going to take this opportunity to thank Tom, who works for the orchard. But he came in here and did one bang up job seeding this thing and i was just so glad that he did uh, he did a great job and i just want to say thank you tom well the first time i've gotten back over here since since they seeded this and we got done with it we got some spring oats that he seeded underneath here got the grass coming up looking good I'm impressed. I'll have to say I'm impressed with my work. Got a little ditch right there. Well, that's normal stuff. We can put little channel liners in that. That's where that water's going to come off of there. That's why we want it. It's going in the pond. That's what we want. That afternoon sun. Remember that trick. Get a little water in the lake, it's coming up. It's probably got as much water in it as it ever had right now from before, but I'm impressed. I'm tickled to death with the way this looks. Later on that afternoon, I decided to get the drone out and fly again uh, after the grass came up a little bit. So here's just a few shots. Uh, give you a, another scope and and you can see the arrowheads getting bigger it'll soon disappear with another rain or two but just the way it worked out but I thought it was kind of neat the way it looked earlier on with that big arrowhead in there Two and a half inches. I 
one place that got a little bit of wash, obviously on that other side and over here on this side, which is probably what it's supposed to do, always will do. Nothing on this dam. Just like it's supposed to. And as usual, God bless America, and thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. Just like and subscribe would be fine. Thank you very much.